Welcome to video three for the Harry School of Discipline Back to Basics Comic Book Boot Camp. This video is posting a little late. We had some audio difficulties, so this is actually the second recording, but let's get right to it. There's a lot to cover. This is a 10 minute drill sketches, draw what you see, sketch people in various poses. The whole purpose of this is to have you use real life references to see how the body works and that way when you're drawing from scratch or out of your head. Uh, you know how to move those shapes. So, I picked a couple different images to work from. The first is this uh, model, it's a stock photo, and a uh, little warrior boy here. So, the first thing I did, if you notice, is I, I actually drew over the picture and I sketched some lines just so I could see where, where his lines were. And that's one of the benefits of using stock photos and working that way through. Now, as I'm going through the figure, I, I'm trying to break it into sections and not not really focus on the detail, but focus on the placement, focus on the angle of the body and the curve of the figure itself. Obviously, you can tell that my I'm not drawing in a fashion that's going to fit the entire recreation of the drawing onto the screen. And uh, that's purposeful. I wanted to s fit as much in there as possible. And the drawing is, again, sped up. Uh, I spent about, mm, well, if I would have included everything, it would have been something like a 17-minute video. So I had to speed it up so it wasn't so drawn out. But if you notice, I put in guiding lines and cross lines so I can match up where the elbow is within the figure where the hand goes across the thigh, just all sorts of things to help measure it out as I go. So I'm going to scale this down because again the purpose of this is for exercise. So I'm going to scale this down, move this out of the way, and then we're going to go over the figure again. Yeah, it's shrunk down. It got pretty close. That's nice. So here I'm starting a different way. I'm starting with the pelvis area, working my way up. I did a center line, and then I did the pelvis, and then the chest cavity. And this is a really helpful way to break down your figures, no matter what you're drawing. Is always start with that core, and know like where are your hips, where is your chest, where is everything being angled. Now, admittedly, I'm a little. See, I'm okay. Do you see the line I did on the outside of the hip there? That was again to because I'm looking at the reference image and I can see that where his elbow is in regards to the outside, that the hip really should come out further. But anyways, so this figure you can tell I'm moving a little bit faster through it. Uh, part of that is like the first version was more of the stick figure breakdown. Uh, this using overall shapes and everything, and also because admittedly I've already drawn this picture once, so I'm comfortable with it. I'm looking more at you know, other details like here at the back leg and the angle. But I want to show you what you shouldn't do. And I've seen a couple of people send in samples that do this and they just focus on drawing the outside of the figure. They're not doing any of the shapes on the inside. They're not doing their foundation. And sure, you can get close to the silhouette and figuring it all out, but you're not going to be able to redraw this person from scratch. So that is not how you should be doing it. You should be doing it one of the first two ways that I showed you. Now, I wanted some dynamic options here. So I found this fun picture on the internet using Google. I'm just going to pick one of the people, see if you can figure it out as I'm going. But, you know, just want to try and stretch the body. You see, you start with the chest cavity, then go to the hips. And you can figure out where the flow is going, where the center lines are. And then from there, you just work your way out. Work your way out from where the shoulder is. Work your way out where the legs are and the thighs and everything else. And you just build on it and sketch on it and focus on the shapes. Focus on the curve and the form of how things look. And don't worry so much about, you know, is this muscle correct or anything like that just focus on the placement and you know so look like with the head I was really wanting to make sure I had that correct and 
So once I got the head in there, I knew I needed to adjust the shoulder, and then that influenced the curve of the body. And now we'll go put it underneath its sample, turn it a little bit. That's not a bad rendition. Let's do another. This is, again, more of a stick figure. You get your peanut shape down for where the hips and the chest cavity is. Then you can move your limbs out like you're drawing a stick figure. And you see, now we already got the basic shape down. So you can focus on putting your form in, putting your muscles and your shape and your feet. This is the kind of thing, when you're drawing comics, Every figure should be drawn this way. It should always start off with thinking about, you know, where's where's my foundation? What is my form? Don't just go straight into the details. You're either going to get these skewed, flat, weird-looking drawings, and it's just it's not going to look professional because you didn't take your time to do it in a way that ensured a strong result. So again, that's a quick little sketch. Not a bad. Not a bad way to go. Now, here's something you can do to help you improve if you're not sure how to get your shapes. Take an image of someone, blow it up, especially if you're working digitally. But you can do this with a light box and everything too, but you blow it up and then just draw in where these shapes would go. Draw in the chest cavity. See, stick figure the arms so you can see where the joints are, where the bones would be. Ted drew the center line down the center of the front of the body. So you can see where the abs are. Then again down, that's where the pelvis is and the hip areas. And again, I'm drawing the, the bones essentially with the stick figures. But this is just a really good exercise to see. You know, this is where the shape is, this is how it all balances out. And help you get really good natural form. Even if you're doing cartoony stuff, and you have a foundation and how the body actually works and your artwork is just going to look that much better your storytelling is going to be that much better and you're you're going to be able to convey things with your body language and everything else that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise so you see I drew some lines here to show where the key points of balance are and now I'm just sketching a guy that doesn't exist from anywhere but I'm showing that this is the same process I drew the hips drew the rib cage now I'm building some muscles out from there and this is, you know, huge superhero guy. I'm just showing that these same foundations that you do with drawing these sketches apply to when you're drawing right out of your head. And that helps you be able to create from scratch when you don't necessarily have a reference. Thanks for watching.